talking about the top four use cases for streaming data integration. If you're not familiar with streaming data integration, please check out our channel for a deeper dive into the technology. But in this video, let's focus on the use cases. And the first one is cloud adoption, specifically online database migration. When you have your legacy database and you want to move it to cloud and modernize your data infrastructure, if it's a critical database, you don't want to experience downtime. And the streaming data integration solution helps with that. So when you're doing the initial load from the legacy system to the cloud, change data capture feature captures all the new transactions happening in this database as it's happening. And once this database is loaded and ready, all the changes that happened here in the legacy database can be applied here. So during the migration, your legacy system is open for transactions. You don't have to pause it. So while the migration is happening, and CDC helps you to keep these two databases continuously in sync by moving the real-time data uh, between the systems. So because the system is open to uh, transactions, it, there is no business interruption. And, and if this technology is designed for uh, validating the delivery and checkpointing systems, you will also not experience any data loss. And because this cloud database has production data is open to transactions, and it's continuously updated, you can take your time to test it before you move your users. So you have basically unlimited testing time, which helps you minimize your risks during such a major uh, transition. So once the system is completely in sync and you checked it, you tested, you can point your applications and run your cloud database. Now this is a, a single switch over scenario, but streaming data integration, some technologies in this space, give you the ability to move the data bi-directionally. So you can have both systems open to transaction. Once you test this, you can run some of your users in the cloud, some of your users in the legacy database, and all the changes are happening with these um, users can be uh, moved between databases, synchronized so that they're constantly in sync. And you can gradually move your uh, users to the cloud database to further minimize your risk. So phase migration is a very um, popular use case, especially for mission critical systems that cannot tolerate risks and downtime. A second use case, once you're in the cloud and you have hybrid cloud architecture, you need to maintain it. You need to connect it with the rest of your enterprise. It needs to be a natural extension of your data center. And continuous real-time data movement with streaming data integration allows you to have your cloud databases and services as part of your um, data center. And the important thing is that these workloads in the cloud can be operational workloads because there is fresh information available, continuously updated information available. So your databases, your machine data, your log files, your other cloud sources, messaging systems and sensors can move continuously to enable operational workloads. So what we see in hybrid cloud architectures, heavy use of cloud analytics solutions these days. So if you want to run uh, operational reporting, operational intelligence, you want comprehensive data delivered continuously so that you can trust that it's up to date and have operational uh, intelligence from your analytics solutions. You can also connect your data sources with the messaging systems in the cloud to support uh, event distribution for your new apps that you're running in the cloud so that they are uh, completely part of your uh, data center. And if you're adopting multi-cloud solutions, you can again connect your new cloud systems with existing cloud systems or send data to multiple cloud destinations. A third use case is real-time and modern applications 
Cloud is a big trend right now, but not everything is necessarily in the cloud. You can have modern applications on premises. So if you're building any real time app, a modern new system that needs timely information, you need to have continuous real time pipelines. And streaming data integration en enables that so that you run real time apps with real time data. Um, fourth, but not the least one, um, when you have an in memory data grid to help with your data retrieval performance, you need to make sure it is continuously up to date so that you can rely on that data. It's reliable, it's, um, it is something that users uh, can depend on. So if the source system is updated but your cache is not updated, it can create business problems. And streaming data integration by continuously moving real-time data using CDC, CDC technology, helps you to keep your data grid uh, up to date and it can be your hot cache to support your business with fresh data. These are the common use cases that we see and I invite you to explore more on our channel. Thank you.